Rawalpindi, located in the northern part of the Punjab province, Rawalpindi district, an area nestled between the rivers Indus and Jhelum, has been a seat of civilization since ancient times. A mild climate, productive land, and abundant rainfall rendered the region attractive to conquerors and settlers alike. But the district of Rawalpindi was created during the British rule when it became the home of one of the largest cantonments in the country. According to the 1901 census of India, the population then was about half a million. But during and after the period of British rule, Rawalpindi district increased in population and importance. According to the 1998 census of Pakistan, the population of the district was 3.3 million, of which 53% was urban, making it the second most urbanized district in Punjab and the fourth largest urban area after Karachi, Lahore, and Faslabad. The population was estimated to be 4.5 million in 2010. There are approximately 1,000 industrial units operating in Rawalpindi district in the pharmaceutical industry, poultry sector, furniture industry, gems and jewelry sector, flour milling industry, marble and cement industry, and textile and apparel manufacturers. The Rawalpindi Chamber of Commerce and Industry RCCI was established by the late Mr. N. H. Law, who served as its founder president from 1952 to 1959. Once located in a small office in Raja Bazaar, today the chamber is located in a new custom-built building on Mayo Road, Civil Lines, Ramapindi, with state-of-the-art technology and facilities for the members. I have been serving this prestigious organization for more than a year now. Rawalpindi Chamber of Commerce and Industries considers as one of the finest business forums of Pakistan. Forward thinking and innovative, the RCCI is committed to the business development of its members. And today, the chamber serves more than 6,000. Uh, we are here to serve the business community of Rawalpindi region by entertaining their queries, solving the issues being faced by them while trading nationally and internationally. The membership is diverse, coming together from a range of sectors and featuring both home-based small businesses and large-scale industries. For all its members, the Chamber strives to promote, expand and strengthen their business efforts through networking, policy advocacy and innovation. I'm the third generation as president in Rawalpindi Chamber. My grandfather, Mia Mohammed Aslam, was president in 1960. My father, Mia Parvez Aslam, was president in 1980s. We've been doing Made in Pakistan Expos. We've been doing uh, uh, you know, Pakistan shows also. Pakistan shows were done in America. We did two this year, uh, one in Dallas and one in Houston. And we've been doing Made in Pakistan in the South countries. The other event that was uh, during my tenure was ISPAT. It's a uh, joint venture with USAID and it's a three-year uh, program. And we hope that uh, we complete this three-year program with them. It's about trade uh, improvement between Pakistan and Central Asia and Afghanistan. In collaboration with the Punjab government, we have initiated IT Park for our Pindi. Nationwide events, uh, which Chamber is very much involved, is CPEC. We had a very good and interactive session uh, with Asin Iqbal and our members. And uh, whatever queries we had, whatever apprehension we had, uh, they were answered there. And uh, we think that CPAC will be a great initiative for our Pindi region also because we are the hub of the route that uh, CPAC is taking. Then we have upcoming event achievement award. We've been doing this for the past 28 years, but this time we needed to have a, a difference uh, from the rest. So we've decided to take it abroad. And this time we are going to Dubai for this uh, achievement award. RCCI organizes foreign delegations, international exhibitions by the name Made in Pakistan and the Pakistan Show in USA and SARC countries creates business promotion opportunities, hosts all Pakistan Chamber's President's Conference, Industrial Ravel Expo, ICT awards, seminars, and provides relevant information through print and online channels to its members. The best part of this organization is that we have events here in different ways. We have a lot of learning from them, like international exhibitions are made in Pakistan, hai, Pakistan show, hai, international achievement awards, hai, ICT awards. Hai and uh, president conference eh, and the, I guess this is the best place to work and to learn here a lot. RCCI is affiliated with the Federation of Pakistan Chambers of Commerce and Industry, which itself is a member of the International Chamber of Commerce and Industry. 
Over the years, RCCI has played a vital role in the development of commercial, industrial, and economic activities in the region, including initiating and contributing to milestone projects like the Islamabad Stock Exchange, the dry port in the region, and the RCCI Industrial Estate in Rawat are some examples of how the Chamber is involved in the uplift of the trader community of the region. The importance of Rawalpindi is enhanced by its status as the twin city to the capital of Pakistan. Islamabad originally was carved out of the Rawalpindi district and proximity to the capital ensures that RCCI has access to the government, policy-making forums and regulators and is able to participate in dialogue on issues that matter to the members. A rapidly growing metropolitan, Rawalpindi has witnessed the development of new areas and developments like Beria Town, with its modern city planning, commercial spaces and business areas, and other communities with contemporary urban facilities. Responsible citizenship and community engagement are hallmarks of how RCCI conducts its activities, from hosting annual achievement awards and sports tournaments to organizing a mega Ravel shopping festival and conferences. RCCI has also begun to work with the youth and women of Ravel Bidi to encourage them to be equal partners in economic activity in the region. With the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPAC soon to become a reality. Rawalpindi will be a focal point in the trade link between China and the city of Goa. The chamber is admirably positioned to promote entrepreneurship in those sectors which will be needed over the short, medium and long term and to initiate debate on infrastructure needs of the area. RCCI will be at the heart of the dialogue, championing the cause of its members and for building a greater Rawalpindi.